Hey guys, this is Animad, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the 14th episode of Season 4 of The Muppet Show, which features the one and only Liza Minnelli. And this is absolutely an incredible talent that they've actually brought up. Liza Minnelli is known to be a legendary actress and singer, and she is also recognized as a gay icon, like someone that the LGBT community really does admire. Now, the thing is with Liza Minnelli is that she is an entertainment powerhouse. Her talents has been covered in all different types of fields in the entertainment industry, from television to music to film and even on stage. In fact, she is actually one of the very rare people on this planet that actually did receive the EGOT, which is the um, Emmy Awards, the Grammy Awards, an Oscar, uh, well, the Oscars, and also the Tonys, in which she actually did receive all four. She got her Oscar for Best Actress in Cabaret. She also got her Emmy when she actually appeared in Liza with a Z, a concert for television. Uh, then she actually received several Tony Awards for Flora, the Red Menace, Liza at the Winter Garden, The Act, and Liza at the Palace. And as for her Grammy Award, she actually did receive a couple, but she didn't receive them traditionally. She actually got one for Grammy Living Legend Award, and also she was inducted in the Grammy Hall of Fame Award. So this is definitely a major, major talent. So hopefully the episode that she appeared in would definitely be as grand as her. Now, maybe that's a little bit too much to ask, but somehow they actually did pull it off. Fun fact, the episode that Liza Minnelli appeared in actually received an Emmy Award for Best Directing. And with the episode that she appeared in, it definitely is fantastic. And my god, even I really got engaged into it. Like, more so than many other episodes. Like, even, uh, like, th 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 this is just one of the better ones that I've seen of this season. Uh, the thing is that they did is that they decided to go in a more different format with this episode. It's a little bit more like uh, one of the previous ones where they did the Robin Hood episode where the whole thing tells this one big story where the Muppets decide to do an entire play based on Robin Hood. This time, however, they decided to go with a murder mystery. And like, there's always this hot babe that's usually involved that really needs the detective's help, which in this case is actually Liza Minnelli. And the whole thing is that apparently there's a show going on, but someone is actually threatening to take down the show. So it's up to Kermit, uh, who is the detective, to go out and find out who the killer is. And throughout this whole time, it actually does maintain the Muppet Show format. You still get a little bit of that variety and like you have some songs still going on. Uh, the best one hands down that actually happened was the first one when Liza was doing the Copacabana. And in that one, I think the best way to describe it is that it's almost in the same veins as Kenny Rogers' The Gambler, where it's almost as if you could just take it as its own and you could put it as um, its own music video as Liza Minnelli's cover of the Copacabana. Uh, the only difference, however, is that with that one, it definitely is really Muppety. It's not like with the Kenny Rogers one where uh, the puppets or the Muppets actually used in that one, it's a lot more realistic. Uh, they're not as uh, Muppetish. They don't look like something that really belongs in the Muppet Show. This one, however, yeah, they, they definitely are Muppets. There's no hiding it. But still, it has that strong sense of story where this is a uh, like a literal visual representation of the Copacabana song. Uh, there are also other ones, like you do get a little moment of uh, great day and also um, like a, a little moment with uh, the special guest star Liza Minnelli and then Kermit like a calming song with a quiet thing and then at the end um, they would all come together and sing everything's coming up roses so uh, it's already been done before this is not the first time that it actually did happen uh, I believe oh crap I forgot who the special guest star was but I remember specifically uh, when it happened. It was during the whole Lancelot bit and um, like the finale was pretty much a whole collaboration and a whole different 
bunch of Broadway musical songs all formed into one because they cannot use songs from uh, what was it the like from Lancelot or like it, it's like that King Arthur Broadway show or something like that but I know specifically and maybe you guys know what I'm talking about and maybe you guys can go and correct me in the comment section just uh, like just in case like just for uh, little bits and pieces of clarification or you know what screw it I'm actually gonna do that myself here it's right here uh, this is what I'm talking about so anyways uh, going back into the episode yeah like it actually really does work as its own episode like not just a Muppet Show episode but on uh, like as its own thing where Kermit is pretty much as this detective trying to figure out this mystery and like you do have this sense of like this film noir-esque style where they're trying to find out who would be this killer while uh, there are a few that are pretty much taken down one by one. And even the, the puppetry done in there is actually really good because you actually do see close-ups of the killer's hand uh, pretty much using weapons like a gun or like like shooting bows or like, you know, throwing hatchets and all that kind of stuff, you know? It's actually uh, pretty good. So, uh, yeah, also, like going back into the aspect of uh, like how it can work on its own, uh, but what I think really does work is that you could tell that it really is a Muppet style murder mystery uh, Like one of the best things about it like whenever the Muppets would adapt something uh, Like even later on after the Muppet show when they would come out with stuff like Muppets Christmas Carol or Muppet Treasure Island Is that they know how to take that Muppet spin into it like it's uh, like you know it's kind of okay when they did it with Robin Hood but they only had 30 minutes but even in here they are limited to 30 minutes but it works so well especially when they do come out with this uh, Muppet twist into it even uh, like I think what really does make this work a lot more than something like the Robin Hood episode is actually that this murder mystery plot, they mostly invented it themselves. It's not specifically based on anything, so it's not like a rushed version of a story that already exists. So they're a lot more loose, they're a lot more free to do whatever they want with the story so that it can pretty much work out in the 30 minutes. So I would say that overall, this is definitely a fantastic episode and hands down, easily one of the best episodes of the season or maybe even a highlight of the whole series. It's definitely fantastic. Uh, Liza Minnelli's role in this is definitely well done. Uh, they really used her well and she's actually prominently featured how the special guest really is Liza Minnelli. And the, the original plot of uh, the murder mystery definitely fantastic a lot of fun to watch and they definitely do include a great muppet twist to it and it still feels like a muppet show episode where the tempo is still the same thing you still get your variety of songs where the muppets can perform it rather it be with copacabana a quiet thing and everything's coming out roses and all that kind of stuff so this is definitely one of the must-watch episodes of The Muppet Show. Definitely fantastic, and I highly do recommend it, and wow, this is just really, really awesome. So anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode of The Muppet Vlog, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and it's going to be really difficult for the next episode to really, you know, follow up after this, because wow, this really set a huge standard even for Muppet Sh even for the Muppet Show you know what I'm saying but it, maybe the next one could actually have a good chance about it but we will only know until next time so see you later dudes